Hi, I'm John Norman. Today, we're going to talk about house fires, or as they are known, private dwellings. In the United States, most of the structural fires that occur are in private dwellings. In fact, more than 425,000 one and two family homes burn every year. Fires in private dwellings, or PDs, also represent the greatest threat to civilian life and are responsible for more than 70% of the civilian fire deaths annually. The majority of PD fires begin below the second story, since cooking equipment, water heaters, electrical panels, heaters, cigarette smoking, and other devices and activities most likely to start fires are found on the first floor or basement. The single most important fire attack strategy at a well-involved private dwelling is to first protect the stairway or occupants. So immediately get a mid-sized hand line, inch and a half, inch and three quarter, or two inch, into the building at a location that will put it between the fire and the occupants. One of the most traumatic sights for homeowners is to see a firefighter chopping away at his or her roof. The resulting damage often appears unnecessary to the layperson but often roof ventilation can be absolutely essential. Proper roof ventilation will limit fire damage by reducing the lateral spread of fire inside the home and allowing hot gases to escape and disperse. This action eases conditions inside the structure which speeds the advance of the hose line and helps further efforts to put out the fire. Search, rescue, attack, ventilation and overhaul are all helped when firefighters can enter and operate in better conditions.